That's a field. It's not a big field. I, as you know, I like to shoot from big fields because business is a big field. It's a muddy field, but it is a central Tokyo field and it's certainly got redevelopment uh, possibilities. Someone thinks so. They bought the old house here. They've cleared it away. Got a whole lot of land. Um, not quite sure what's going to come up here yet. Um, now, if this was me, um, I could see some real business opportunities. The economy is a bit shaky at the moment now. You might be able to get this land at quite a reasonable price. We're smack bang in central Tokyo here in uh, Yotsuya. So longer term, it's probably a good investment. But for me, my problem would be, is I haven't got any money. Even if I could see the potential to develop this, and I can, I haven't got any money. So what would I have to do? Let's assume that somehow I've got my heart set on doing this. I either have to go to a bank and say, hey, I'm the guy to develop this. Don't lend the money to someone else, lend it to me. Um, I've got some unique prop proposition here. I can really make this work and I'm a reliable guy, so lend me the money. Of course, they don't know me and they're probably likely to charge me a very high interest rate as a result. And I could very, find myself, very easily find myself in a difficult financial position. If the construction takes a while, if it doesn't sell as quickly as I plan, or whatever I want to do with the site doesn't bring in the revenues I expect, I could find myself really struggling to pay back the bank, uh, just simply paying the interest rate, let alone the principal on the loan. Another way to go would be to find a bunch of like-minded people, people who share my vision for this bit of dirt, and everyone puts in a bit of money, and effectively we share the risk we share the downside risk, we share the um, up upside potential. So the first one to get a loan is of course debt financing. The other one is equity finance. Uh, you are in the short term avoiding those problems of having to pay interest to the bank. So particularly when you have lots of initial development costs, startup costs, of course construction is hugely costly. Um, it often makes sense to share the risk with other people equity-wise. But if I think this is a sure thing, if I think I am going to make a mozza, make a fortune out of this, I don't really want to share it, do I? Moreover, you know, if I've got 20 people together, everyone's going to have a fight over this. I might have my own idea about how the, uh, for example, the apartment development should be built, what it should look like, what the target market should be. They might disagree with me. They might get together and they might collectively throw me out, okay? I may lose control of my own project. Exactly that's what happened to Steve Jobs. He got sacked from his own company, Apple. So when you share risk through equity finance, equity raising, you're in danger of losing control of your own business. That's the Steve Jobs experience. So clearly one of the implications here is that those people who already have a lot of cash on hand have a huge competitive advantage in that they don't have to go to financial markets uh, to either share the risk and share the control or to go to the banks and have to have a high fixed interest rate applying to the loan precisely when they need that working capital at the beginning of a project. So there is a little bit of an inherent... Um, no a very large inherent advantage in starting in a capitalist system with plenty of readies, plenty of working capital ready to go. This also means that many new business opportunities naturally flow to those who are already successful uh, in business. But don't completely give up hope. If you've got a brilliant idea and you can convince other people that you're a trustworthy person and capable of actually realizing this business idea, there will be venture capitalists, people who will be prepared to invest in your business. And typically, they, if they think it's got a lot of growth prospects, will want to do it on an equity basis. They want a share in uh, the business. They want the upside. So anyway, case by case, a lot of it comes down to your ability to win the confidence of investors, whether it is bankers or whether it is potential equity investors.